Welcome back to the Cisco TV studio. A little earlier we heard from Fletcher Previn about the role of IT and the leadership that IT can take in creating fantastic experiences across our network enterprise and for our customers. Well here at Cisco Live, we always host something called an IT leadership program. This is designed to deliver the business acumen, the technological expertise, and the relationships that are going to help you and your organization succeed in a digital world. Cedric DeVolder had an opportunity to sit down with Deepesh Patel to talk about IT leadership. Let's check in on that conversation. The future of the workplace and workforce is accelerating faster than ever. And as part of Cisco Life here in Amsterdam, we have our IT leadership program, where we bring in IT leaders to help them develop their business skills, and technical skills while also helping them build great relationships with IT leaders and their peers across the board, which is super important these days. And there is no one better here uh, that can tell us more about that than Depesh Patel, who is one of our principal engineers here at Cisco. Depesh, how are you? I'm doing very well. Thank you for inviting me here. Yeah, no, thank you so much for being here with us. Have you had a chance to explore a little bit of a conference already, or a what have you been up to? A little bit. Um, as you know, I've done a couple of sessions already. Um, yep. Had a chance to meet a few customers. It's been great to meet colleagues. Uh, so yeah, had a good time. Okay, and you said you're, you did two sessions. We'll jump about that. We'll talk about it in a bit. Sure. But can you just tell us a little bit more about what is the IT leadership program exactly and also what do participants get out of it? Yeah, it's, a, it's a, an interesting uh, part of Cisco Live. It didn't always used to be there. Uh, the IT, IT leadership program is really about taking those that are making more executive decisions around finance, budget, uh, listening to their engineers are probably on this side of the, 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 the Cisco Live sessions, and seeing what they want to invest in strategically and how they want things to play out, what, how, to, how to kind of embolden their visions and, and, and those type, types of things. So yeah, that's, that's what the leadership program is really about. So what does that mean practically, right? Let's say I'm an IT leader, I yep. go into the leadership program, like. What do I learn? What do I take away after a week at Cisco Life? In so the what happens in, in the leadership programs, you'll see a much bigger, bolder vision around how things play out from a business perspective. It hasn't got the tech deep dive. Mm -hmm. So if you imagine, let's do some role play here. You're the IT manager, yep. I'm the tech lead. You may go to the ITM sessions and I may go to the tech leadership, or sorry, the technical sessions. Okay. And we're going to meet afterwards, and I'm going to say to you, hey, this, this new fun widget, whiz bang thing, amazing thing, we need to invest in it because I think it's pretty cool. And you'll turn around and say, do you know I heard pretty much the same thing in the leadership sessions, and I can see how that plays out for our organization globally. And you kind of marry those things together, and you have a strategy for execution. So, so that's how we kind of see things play out. So it's basically like a puzzle, right? Like you have that technical part of it, you have then the business part that basically exactly. clicks into each other. Exactly. While then there is also an opportunity, I know, to like meet some of our executives, et cetera, as well, and have some like one-on-one -on -one time with a them. Absolutely, and you meet your peers um, in the leadership session, you will meet your peers and ask them what they're doing and okay. see, you can compare and contrast what your strategies might be. So Basically uh, sort of sharing some best practices across Exactly, the yeah. Um, okay. So there's a, there's a lot of Kool-Aid to drink. Um, this is where it becomes real. So awesome. Yeah. And you mentioned that you did two sessions. Correct. Right, so what were those sessions about? So let me remember now. So on Wednesday I did the digitizing the office experience. Really that's around how we design offices for the future. So we've obviously been through the pandemic, We've had a lot of changes in how people work. Um, hybrid working is, is no surprise to everyone. So we, we're trying to reposition how our offices look. Um, our CEO talks about having our offices as a magnet, not a yep. mandate, right? So I think that's a popular phrase that's bantered around a lot. Um, so what do we do inside the offices? The office space itself has changed quite a lot. It's not really about people that come to work and sit there Monday to Friday. They come more to collaborate. And to enable that, we've got to make the building smart. So as, a, as, a, as an engineer, what we're doing is making those environments much more technically proficient. Yep. We, for example, we have PoE that supplies power to most of the offices. And how that plugs into uh, smart offices is that everything inside the office, from the desks to the blinds, everything is now automated to some degree. Um, and it allows the the building to be a lot more dynamic from the Monday to the Friday and scale up, scale down services as are needed. 
Um, you know, it's, it's, it's great, I think, right? Because I'm, I'm a hybrid worker myself, and I basically go into the office, like, maybe two, three times a week. Right. And I have, like, when I come in, I use Cisco Spaces, and I can see which meeting rooms are free. Like, there are, there are all these, like, sensors around the office, and it gives us a lot of insight, right? Exactly. So that's really cool. And you, so that's one session, right? That's one session. The second session, what was that about? The second session, um, and bear with me, it's called Embracing Sassy. No, okay. I don't know if everyone knows what sassy is. I mean, I'm quite sassy, I think, but as yes, a person. That, uh, but we're talking about S A S E, right? That's yeah. right. <laughs> Secure Access Service Edge. Now, it's not a, it's not a another acronym created by Cisco. It's actually a term from Gartner. Yeah. On how we transition uh, services that we traditionally ran in our environment to a cloud-based model. So, if you think of, and I'll give you an example, we have hundreds of offices around the globe. Um, they connect in in a hub and spoke fashion to a central aggregation facility. We manage a lot of these. We, in Cisco IT, today we operate about 10, 11 of these. Okay. It's, it's, it's cool, but it's hard work. It's complex. And so we do this, customers do this, and what Cisco's doing in its strategy is to move to this new model where it's offered as a service. And think about how you consume Netflix today. Yeah. If you think of the old world, you had, and those of you who remember, a DVD player. Uh, you had to play it wherever the DVD player was. Now you can consume Netflix anywhere in the world, on your mobile device, wherever you are. The whole thing's offered as a service. And so using the same analogy, SASE, we hope, will provide a similar service in terms of connectivity and security services. Yeah. I I think it's very fascinating how it works, I think, Sassy, and like how you're on that trajectory and what I said in the beginning, it's very, uh, it's going very fast these days with technology. Correct. So while you were wandering around here at the conference, what are some of the key, like hot topics, I would say, uh, what are some of them that you've heard a lot, um, among or some of our attendees? I bet you're expecting me to say AI. <laughs> AI, AI, AI. There you go. <laughs> so we're not going to speak about AI. It is a hot topic, but yeah. We'll leave that for the experts. I think the other two ones that are really noticeable for me, sustainability, mm -hmm. um, even in the way the whole Cisco Live is, is configured, um, yeah. the recyclability, and, and even how people are thinking about power consumption, how to design networks of the future. Um, <clears throat> and the final thing for me is automation. Not automation just for the sake of automation, but automation to drive simplicity. So if I look at a lot of sessions, it's, uh, uh, and maybe Cisco's been guilty of this, maybe a lot of tech companies have been guilty of this, of overcomplicating the environment. So driving simplicity through automation, I think, is standing out in, a, in quite a few conversations. So I think if I can summarize this, I think the IT leadership program is really a program that will help you build a foundation for your digital future in your organization. Absolutely. Would I Absolutely. say that? Yep. Awesome. Couldn't have said it better myself. Great. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sebastian, for being here. You're welcome. And that's it. See you soon. Thank you so much, Depeche. Great content, great thoughts there. Uh, excellent job, Cedric, as always, we appreciate it. Right now, we are going to move into our IT leadership session. So this is going to be a fireside chat with Gemma Trowbridge, with Adele Trombetta, with Jose Van Dyke, and with Gordon Thompson. So these leaders, are going to share some of the technology trends that they are most excited about, but also why they believe those trends are so important for us and for our industry today. At the same time, they're also going to cover the impact that shifts within the IT sphere demands on our IT leaders are having today. Which capabilities can you take advantage of? What can we look at today? What can we look forward to in the coming months? We're going to have a great time here in this IT leadership session. I encourage all of you, post out your comments. If you hear something you like that gets you excited, if you want to ask a question of our team, please put it up on social media with hashtag CiscoLiveEMEA. Here we go with the IT leadership session right now.